Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, just position your body in a way where you can make yourself comfortable and start to release any tension in your muscles, your neck or your shoulders, your arms or your legs. Breathing in a resourceful feeling of relaxation and exhaling any feelings of tension. Breathing in and breathing out. And scanning your body for any feelings of resistance, any echoes of anger, hate or frustration. As you breathe in and breathe out, just allow your eyelids to relax. Slow down that breathing. And I want you to use the power of your imagination to float to somewhere else in the world. I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine floating all the way to the Vatican and maybe you can imagine what it would be like to have a bird's eye view of those historical buildings there in the Vatican Breathe in and breathe out and maybe you can feel the Italian sunshine on your skin. And maybe from up above you can see the unique shape of the incredible building of St. Peter's. Imagine looking at that giant dome. And think back to those figures from history that had a role to play in this building. Like the incredible artist Michelangelo. And I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine you're now standing there in the giant square outside the entrance of St. Peter's. But I want you to imagine the entire cathedral and in fact the whole of the Vatican is just for you there are no crowds of tourists the entire place is purely for you to create a connection to the past where change can take place imagine feeling that sun on your skin breathing in and breathing out and then imagine walking through the giant doors of St. Peter's and finding your way perhaps into one of the chapels and there is an energy there a peace there an incredible feeling that in some way all the heritage all the history enables you to have an even stronger connection to your creator the entity that wants good things for you in your life and perhaps you could imagine seeing the incredible art in the Sistine Chapel the incredible sculptures before finding your way to a particular place where you have a view 
of an incredible and perfect view of a giant cross up above, maybe looking upwards at that angle. And just imagine that you feel that connection, a connection with God, as you focus your attention perhaps on something, and maybe it's the crown of thorns, or maybe it's the nails in the hands, or maybe the robe, or maybe the color. And I want you to stare into the representation of Christ on a cross. And use the power of your imagination to imagine you're back there. 2,000 years. Imagine witnessing the very moment of the crucifixion. Where this incredible person finds it at the point of imminent death. To request the forgiveness on behalf of all of those directly involved in the pain, in the misery, in the complete injustice that was going on. And if you can feel a connection to the power of forgiveness, let me know by nodding your head. And I want you to imagine what it would be like to go back in your history, in your time, and use the same power of forgiveness in the moment that something unfair, unkind, unjust was happening. And I want you to imagine going all the way back to perhaps one of your earliest memories as a small baby. I want you to imagine being in the body of a small baby where you can get the sense that you're being yelled at, held perhaps in a rough or unkind way. And maybe even as a baby you can get the sense that this is wrong, that you don't feel safe, that this shouldn't be this way. But I wonder what would happen instead of tapping into that feeling of hate or anger that would be quite natural when you feel that something wrong is happening. I want you to tap into a well of forgiveness to perhaps get the sense of being just a small child a baby and at the same time thinking I forgive you having the idea that you can move past this maybe entertaining the idea that everyone makes mistakes and that you understand them maybe even thinking as a baby that If you had that in a dialogue, you could say something like, I believe in the goodness in you, and I forgive you. And imagine staring into a yelling father, seeing perhaps the frustrated or contorted face, and still finding it within you to forgive. And imagine at the point where you forgive, you acknowledge this idea that you're releasing the pain and the hurt. That you can stare straight into the face of your father and say, I forgive you. And feel the release of the emotions attached to that moment. You're not seeing a vindictive man, you're seeing an 
an immature man. Didn't know what he was doing. May have been good with numbers, but wasn't good with people, let alone a small baby. And if you can find it within your heart to forgive, let me know by nodding your head. And as you do, notice it changes your energy. It feels like a weight is being lifted from the shoulders of just a tiny baby. And then imagine moving forward in time and finding yourself perhaps in a pram, maybe outside. And to begin with, imagine feeling that feels quite nice. Maybe there's sunshine, fresh air from being outside. But I want you to get a sense that the sun doing what it does means that you go from being in sunshine to being in shade. You go from being in a position of warmth and coziness to feeling deeply uncomfortable, shivering. Imagine feeling you want to get help, you're crying for help. You're using the only communication skills you have back then to try and get your situation changed and yet help doesn't come. But I want you to take everything that you know now back into the mind of that baby shivering, feeling vulnerable. And maybe it wasn't a malicious, deliberate attempt to make you cry and get upset. Maybe it was just forgetfulness. A lack of understanding of a baby's ability to keep warm in different environments. But even if it was malicious, I want you to find it deep within you, the ability to forgive. Imagine thinking about the person, perhaps your mother, that put you in this position that maybe they had good intentions, but maybe they didn't. And yet you can still find it within you to forgive them. To understand that you believe that you are ready to forgive. You understand humans make mistakes. And say to yourself, even there as a small child... You're ready to heal and move on. Because what if you believe that forgiveness is a sign of strength, not weakness? And you believe that you can forgive even if they don't deserve it, especially if they don't deserve it. You can find it within you to forgive. And if you're ready to forgive, let me know by nodding your head. That's it. And as you truly forgive, feel any echoes of hate or anger or injustice just melting away. From this point forward, you'll think of these memories as being an observer, not the one experiencing. And you will see these moments as not evidence of your mistreatment, but of evidence of the power of forgiveness. And then move forward in time. you could imagine being a small child trying to run away from your father in your own home find yourself back in that body that you didn't want to be close to him but imagine being a father having a child that hated you that didn't feel safe around you 
You might feel that you're in a lose-lose situation. If you don't spend any time with this small child, you're going to feel that you're neglecting the child, but whenever you get close, the child tries to run away. Maybe you feel resentful, maybe you feel angry, maybe you feel not good enough as a father. And then put yourself back in the perspective of being the child and feeling that you don't feel safe. You don't want to be close to this person. That by running away, that's the only thing you can do at that age. To try and create distance between... And I want you to see perhaps how tenacious this man is at trying to get close. To hold you even if you don't want to be held. To be close to you even if you don't want to be close. And I remember thinking in that moment what you were thinking. And start to evolve those feelings from hate and anger and perhaps even anxiety to a new feeling of being ready to forgive. Imagine staring at him. But having the maturity that maybe he lacked to think you're able to forgive. Imagine just in your own mind saying, I forgive you. Imagine believing that holding on to anger is hurting you more than it's helping, so you choose to forgive. And as you choose to forgive, feel the anger melt away. And imagine, imagine your father had the maturity to empathize with where you are at that point and imagine finding it in your heart to forgive and imagine finding it in his reality that wasn't there at the time to meet you where you were and imagine being that small child forgiving and then Instead of running, but going towards your father and giving him a hug at that age. Imagine even saying, I forgive you. Imagine seeing your father getting emotional, accepting that, and saying the words, I'm sorry. Imagine what that hug would have felt like to hear the words, I'm sorry. And to really feel what it would feel like to forgive truly, completely, without limit. Imagine feeling that it actually feels good to have that hug. To feel that love. To feel that connection. Feel that. And if you feel that forgiveness is more about releasing your anger than it is about him and that you can do that let me know by nodding your head that's it and then go forwards in time imagine you're being driven perhaps to some boy scouts camp or something like that imagine being yelled at and this is just an echo of similar things that happened throughout your childhood and then think about the words that perhaps Christ said there on that crucifix 
forgive them, Father, for they do not know what they do. And I want you to tap into the same essence of that. That perhaps the yells from your father were from a frustrated man with a lot on his plane. That he didn't understand the impact of those harsh words. Maybe he thought he was toughening you up. Maybe he thought that there were good intentions. He didn't realize the damage that was being caused. So tap into the idea of he didn't have the appreciation, the understanding of the impact of his words. And imagine finding it within you to forgive. To say the words out loud or in your head, I forgive you. To have this idea that you can find it within your heart to forgive because the forgiveness is more about what it does for you. than for someone that doesn't exist anymore. So you can forgive. And in forgiving, it changes this memory from a bad thing to a good thing. Because it gives you all the benefits of releasing these heavy emotions. And there's been many studies of people that have long-term health conditions after moments of trauma because they hold on to the trauma. And in forgiving, you're letting go of the trauma. And entertain the possibility that in letting go of the trauma and the hate and the anger, that in some way there will be a biological physiological impact that can improve your health that's it letting go of that and then imagine going forward in time imagine you're being at high school imagine waiting perhaps in a old phone booth waiting for hours feeling insignificant feeling like an afterthought feeling like you're a hindrance a bother feeling neglected and then imagine seeing perhaps a car or a truck or some vehicle finally come up to pick you up you're older now just imagine saying the words I understand I forgive you doesn't have to be such a big thing now because you've learned to get good at forgiveness and forgiveness is all the more important if the person you're forgiving doesn't really deserve the forgiveness this is your choice to forgive it doesn't absolve anyone else of their responsibilities It's about what it does for you. You are releasing the pain, the hurt and the anger. And you can forgive. Whether they apologize or don't apologize is immaterial. You choose to forgive. You get to wipe the slate clean of these moments of the past. You get to release the trauma, the anger, the pain... We're all human and we all make mistakes. But some people don't learn from their mistakes and some people make the same mistakes again and again and again. But what if not forgiving early was a mistake? What if you can rectify that mistake now through forgiveness? What if life is too short to hold on to resentment and anger? And by forgiving, you're choosing to let this go. And in doing so, feel vitality increase. 
health increase, energy increase, peace increase inside you. And then move forwards. And imagine you're standing there, perhaps, by a hospital bed. Imagine seeing your father, perhaps, in the last hours of his life. But let's rewrite history now. Imagine hearing some words or seeing an expression or seeing a look. Only this time, instead of being wounded by it, hurt by it, smile kindly and imagine saying out loud, I forgive you. Imagine hugging your father in those last moments, telling him that you forgive him for everything. Because I would imagine there was guilt, frustration, regret. And by truly forgiving in those last few moments, maybe you provided. a nicer way to leave this reality into a new reality. So feel that in that moment you're able to forgive. Because if you believe in second chances and you believe in an afterlife, maybe. Maybe by you forgiving, the onus of learning shifts from you to them. This isn't about forgetting. It's about choosing to forgive. This is about you and only you and what choosing to forgive does for you. And then imagine a ripple throughout time that from when you were a baby to a deathbed in 2012, just imagine every bit of history is updating. All the anger, the resentment, the frustration, the regret that you wish things were different, all just updates to a different reality where you have peace and harmony within you, that you like who you are, that those parts that remind you of your father are reconciled into someone that you can accept also. Leave the anger, the resentment, the hate all behind as you find yourself traveling all the way back into a chapel in St. Peter's in the Vatican But as you leave the chapel, feel lighter. Feel freer. Feel healthier. And feel that you are about to embark on a brand new chapter in your life. Where you feel cleansed. Fresh. Willing to start anew. And then imagine leaving, leaving the doors of St. Peter's and floating up in the air, traveling all the way back to the present, but enabling all these changes to come back with you, to feel how you would feel, to truly have forgiven, not just your father or your mother, but anyone, including yourself, that needs forgiveness, forgive them all including yourself completely. As you return to the present, feeling like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. As you breathe in through your nose and out through your nose, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, returning to the present as I now count from one to 10 to awaken you, starting to count. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, Open your eyes, open your eyes. 
9, 10, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake.